The James Webb Space Telescope has taken the crown as the most powerful and expensive telescope ever built. But it's not just a matter of bragging rights. Already, it's providing us with stunning images of deep space that are rewriting the rules of what we thought we knew about the cosmos. Imagine being able to peer back in time and witness 200 million year old structures preserved in the vastness of space. What secrets do they hold? What new clues will they reveal about the origins of our universe and the forces that govern it? In today's video, we will embark on an awe-inspiring journey as we bring you the latest images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope that are already shaking the entire space industry. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is an exciting new addition to the world of astronomy. This powerful telescope is capable of capturing stunning images of objects both far away and closer to home. One of its recent captures is of the Cassiopeia, a supernova remnant which is providing scientists with valuable new insights into the origins of cosmic dust. Cassiopeia A, or Cass A, is the result of a stellar explosion that occurred 340 years ago. This remnant is the youngest known of its kind in the galaxy, and it is now being studied in great detail thanks to the JWST. The telescope has captured mid-infrared images of Cass A that contain a wealth of new scientific information. Astronomers are currently poring over this data, hoping to gain insight into how such massive explosions occur and to answer critical scientific questions about the origins of cosmic dust. Cosmic dust is the foundation for stars, planets, and eventually life itself. Supernovae like Cass A eject massive amounts of heavy elements into space. And because cosmic dust is composed of these heavy elements, it is difficult to explain its origins without attributing some of it to supernovae. However, the sheer amount of dust observed in early galaxies cannot be explained using current supernova observations. With the JWST, scientists hope to gain insight into the dust content of Cass A and uncover new mysteries of the universe. The JWST has also captured incredible images of objects closer to home, including a stunning image of Uranus. This image depicts the ice giant's ring system, its brightest moons, and its dynamic atmosphere in great detail. The image also reveals 11 of Uranus's 13 known rings, some of which are so bright that they blend together. But what's even more astonishing is that the JWST's near-infrared camera, or near-cam instrument, is sensitive enough to have captured the innermost two of Uranus's dusty rings. This is a groundbreaking discovery that has only been seen by two other telescopes. The Voyager 2 spacecraft, which flew past Uranus in 1986, and the Keck Observatory's Advanced Adaptive Optics. Uranus has a unique orbit in the solar system and rotates on its side, tilted at a roughly 90-degree angle relative to its path around the Sun. Because of this tilt, Uranus experiences extreme seasons, with each pole exposed to constant sunlight for many years before being plunged into darkness for an equal amount of time. The JWST image shows the right side of Uranus's ice giant brightening at its north polar ice cap, which is facing the sun. This is the first time scientists have seen this aspect of the polar cap, and the image itself is a stark contrast to the inert blue marble that Voyager 2 photographed during its 1986 flyby. In one of its images, the JWST took pictures of galaxy clusters that are warping space. This was achieved using the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, which was predicted by Albert Einstein in 1915. The telescope's new image reveals previously unknown details about the region, as well as the merger of three already massive clusters into an even larger mega-cluster of galaxies. The JWST created a single panoramic image with 50,000 infrared light sources, resulting in a deep field image of Pandora's cluster, located approximately 3.5 billion light years away. The image has an impressive balance of breadth and depth that could revolutionize galactic evolution research. A bright foreground star from the Milky Way is prominent in the image, surrounded by bright white light sources that are surrounded by a hazy glow. These are the much more distant galaxies of Pandora's cluster. 
Interestingly, Einstein posthumously provided the key to unlocking Pandora's box, as, according to general relativity, objects of mass have an effect on the very fabric of space, warping it. This curvature can be so extreme that light's path through it is also curved. If light from a background object passes through a body of extreme mass in the foreground on its way to Earth, the background object may appear to have moved in the sky. This gravitational lensing effect may have additional consequences, and the foreground mass object, also known as a lensing object, can sometimes help amplify the light from background objects. In another new image, the JWST captures images of very faint galaxies in deep space. The image depicts distant galaxies stretching into deep space and covering only 2% of the sky. Thousands of galaxies can be seen in the image, the faintest of which are approximately 1 billion times fainter than what the naked eye can see. The light from the farthest galaxies has traveled nearly 13.5 billion years to reach us. The image is made up of eight different colors of near-infrared light, all captured by the JWST's NearCam, revealing objects and structures that would not be visible in optical light. The image is said to show a portion of the universe that has never been seen before in such detail, even by the Hubble or other ground-based observatories. It also captures a region of the universe where galaxies are in the process of forming, and it shows the complex interplay of gas, dust, and stars that drive this process. According to the team behind the image, the level of detail captured is unprecedented and provides new insights into the early stages of galaxy formation. JWST has also captured two astonishing images of a binary star system that have left scientists awe-inspired. The first image is of a binary star system called wolf rayet star, or WR140, located at a distance of 1,800 light-years from Earth. The image depicts 17 evenly spaced rings of cosmic dust being ejected into space from the binary system. These dust shells form when the binary stars pass close together in their orbits around each other. Each close orbital pass interacts with their stellar winds, which are streams of particles emanating from the stars, ejecting the shells into space. The spacing of the rings is so regular that it suggests that the events that caused the shell formation occur like clockwork, once every eight years. Scientists have counted the shells like tree rings, indicating that 130 years of dust formation have occurred. The team of scientists strengthened their interpretation of the image by comparing their findings to the geometric dust models developed by Yino Henne, a doctoral student from the University of Cambridge, which shows a near-perfect match to their observations. The team was also able to study the chemical composition of the surrounding dust using JWST's MIRI, which informed them that the surrounding dust is made up of material that is crucial in the formation of stars and planets. The team concluded that the WR binaries can be an essential source of carbon-rich compounds that enrich the interstellar environment of our galaxy, and likely galaxies beyond our own. In another image, the JWST captured a view of the planet Neptune that has never been seen before. The image shows Neptune's rings and faint dust bands in amazing detail, something planetary scientists have not seen in three decades since Voyager 2 flew by the planet in 1989. However, the ice giant does not appear bright blue in these new JWST images. This is because JWST's NearCam images objects in the near-infrared range of 0.625 microns, and the methane gas that gives Neptune its blue hue in Voyager 2 images absorbs red and infrared light, making the planet appear almost dark and near-infrared, except in regions with high-altitude clouds. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is the large, bright point of light with diffraction spikes that dominates the image. The image also shows seven of Neptune's 14 known moons surrounding the planet. Triton appears massive because its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, which reflects approximately 70% of the sunlight that strikes it. Triton is thought to have a subsurface ocean, and a new mission called Triton is being planned to visit Triton. Have you heard of the Tarantula Nebula? It's a massive star-forming region located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of our Milky Way. 
Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has captured a spectacular and unprecedented view of this stellar nursery, providing us with a glimpse of thousands of previously unseen young stars. The Tarantula Nebula, also known as 30 Doridus, has a spider-like appearance and is the brightest star-forming region in the local group of galaxies. Its chemical composition is similar to star-forming regions from when the universe was only a few billion years old, providing a unique insight into how stars formed in the distant past. Astronomers studying the formation of stars are particularly interested in the nebula, and the JWST has given us a new level of detail in its observation. Using a combination of high-resolution infrared instruments, the JWST has revealed gas and dust in the nebula, as well as distinct background galaxies. The Radius 30, dubbed Tarantula because of its spider-like appearance, can now be seen to resemble a burrowing tarantula's silk-lined lair, thanks to the image's superb new detail. Astronomers studying the formation of stars are particularly interested in the Tarantula Nebula because it has a chemical composition similar to star-forming regions from when the universe was only a few billion years old, providing a unique insight into how stars formed in the distant past. The nebula is also the brightest star-forming region in the local group of galaxies, which includes our Milky Way. In addition to the Tarantula Nebula, the JWST has also captured a stunning new image of a spiral galaxy known as M74, or the Phantom Galaxy. This spiral galaxy resembles a celestial seashell made of blue and pink gossamer gas filaments and is shaped like a Nautilus's seashell, with its spiral dimensions thought to follow the Fibonacci sequence. Located in the constellation Pisces, about 32 million light-years from Earth, M74 is known as a grand-designed spiral because of its prominent and well-defined spiral arms. It is also directly in our line of sight, making it a popular target for astronomers studying the origin and structure of galactic spirals. The JWST's keen vision has revealed delicate filaments of gas and dust in the grandiose spiral arms that wind outwards from the center of the image. A lack of gas in the nuclear region also allows for a clear view of the nuclear star cluster and the galaxy's center. The image was captured using the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, which is sensitive to light in the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. This new image is part of the long-running physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, or FANGS survey of stars, star clusters, and dust within 19 galaxies. The survey's goals are to find star-forming regions in those galaxies, measure the masses and ages of star clusters, and learn more about the small grains of dust that drift in interstellar space. FANGS has already imaged those 19 galaxies using Hubble's advanced camera for surveys, making the JWST's images of M74 ideal for an early comparison between the two space telescopes. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope has recently captured stunning images of the Cartwheel Galaxy that reveal never-before-seen details of this peculiar star system. The Cartwheel Galaxy, located 500 million light-years away from Earth, is a chaotic galaxy shrouded in hot dust that conceals a violent past. The galaxy's appearance, similar to a wagon wheel, is the result of a high-speed collision between a large spiral galaxy and a smaller galaxy, not visible in this image. The collision occurred in the Cartwheel Galaxy's center, resulting in two visible rings that spread out from its impact site. The bright inner ring is teeming with hot dust and clusters of young stars, while the outer ring is home to newborn stars and supernovas. Some of the original spiral features can still be seen in the most recent composite image, which reveals what is happening to this galactic acrobat as a result of the collision. To the left of the Cartwheel Galaxy are two smaller companion galaxies, with many more galaxies in the background. While the Hubble Space Telescope had captured images of the Cartwheel Galaxy, the infrared camera on the JWST revealed more stars than could be seen in visible light. This is because young stars are easier to see through dust when viewed in infrared light. 
This latest composite image furthers our understanding of the Cartwheel Galaxy's peculiar wheel-like star system and its violent past. In addition to the Cartwheel Galaxy, the JWST has also captured amazing pictures of Jupiter in all its glory. While we've seen images of Jupiter before, none compare with the pictures of the gas giant taken by the JWST. The JWST team has released a pair of highly detailed images of Jupiter that show its auroras around the poles. Both images are composites, which means they combine multiple images captured by the telescope's near cam into a single high-definition image. Jupiter's faint rings, as well as two of its moons, can be seen in the wide-field image. Hamilton is the bright dot on the far left, and addressed here is the faint dot at the edge of the rings, located between Amalfia and Jupiter. The faint dots of light behind the three celestial bodies are thought to be galaxies. The second image is a close-up of Jupiter, which was captured using three different filters to capture the details of its stormy atmosphere including the glowing auroras. You may be wondering why the image's colors aren't what we're used to seeing when it comes to Jupiter. Well, the JWST sees light in the infrared range, not the visible range. So the colors in the two images are not what we see with our eyes. Because the infrared data were mapped onto the visible light spectrum, these images are false color rather than true. The JWST has also captured images of the Southern Ring Nebula, that have caused astronomers to reconsider their assumptions about this unremarkable object. Located approximately 2,000 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Vela, the Southern Ring Nebula is visible in the southern sky. The JWST's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, had previously imaged the nebula, also known as NGC 3132. The JWST's recent images of the nebula are so spectacular that astronomers now need to reconsider their assumptions about this object. Share your favorite images taken by JWST and find more content like this here.